changing. Firstly, you need to organize the changing place. It is a good idea to have a regular changing place to store all the essentials. You will need a changing mat or towel, fresh nappies, wet wipes or cotton wool and a bowl of warm water, fresh baby clothes, nappy rash cream, something to put the used nappy in. Undo the bottom half of your baby's clothing and put to one side. Undo the dirty nappy. Hold it in place for a moment, as babies often have a wee when the cold air first strikes their bottom. Gently holding your baby's ankles, lift their bottom and use the old nappy to wipe away the worst of any poo and wee. Put the old nappy to one side. Wipe the whole of the area that the nappy covered using either wet wipes or warm water and cotton wool. For girls, always wipe from front to back to help prevent infection. For boys, never pull back his foreskin. It takes months for it to separate from the rest of his penis. Gently lift your baby's bottom off the mat to check underneath. Pat, don't rub, dry with cotton wool. If baby is sore, gently put cream on the areas covered by the nappy. If you can, leave the nappy off for a little while. This will give your baby time to kick about and let their skin breathe. Gently lift your baby's bottom off the mat again by holding their ankles and slide a clean nappy underneath. Fasten the nappy, but not too tightly. If you're using a cloth nappy, reusable, you will also need to put waterproof pants on top. Dress your baby and give them a big kiss and hug after checking that your hands are clean. Place the dirty nappy in a nappy sack, tie it up and put it straight in the bin. Remember, nappy sacks are plastic bags, so never leave them within reach of your baby. If you're using cloth nappies, flush the poo down the loo and place the dirty nappy into a bucket. Wash your hands and you're both good to go.